Hello good people and welcome to Finance Skills Hub. Here we learn, we connect and we grow. In this short video, we are going to learn how to create a very simple cash flow report. And guess what? We are not going to use formulas. So we we'll take it from a raw data set and do a little magic that will help us get our cash flow report without formulas. If you want to learn how to do that, join me in Excel and let's see how to do this. So this is our raw data set, dates, description, amount, the account, and category, whether it's revenue or expense. From this raw data set, we are going to create this. So the good thing about this is this report is still linked to this data source. So when it updates, you also get your numbers updated here. And we created this with our formulas. So let's start the process. Uh, for this purpose, I'm going to export this data out. So I'll right click and move, copy, create a copy, and I'm moving it to a new workbook. So essentially that's how you duplicate worksheets. So when I click OK, I now have my raw data set here. This is already a table. The first step is to convert this data into a pivot table but before we do that we need to put this data into a data model if you already have your power pivot tab enabled under the power pivot tab you can stand in here and add this to a data model otherwise you can insert a pivot table directly on this so standing in the table you can go to insert a pivot table or simply use alt and v t and my pivot table dialog box pops up. Now when I get this, you have to check add this to a data model. So this alternative to add into a data model and I'll click OK. OK, so now I'm ready to create my pivot table from the data model. So we we'll take our amounts and then we push it to values. And we are going to slice this amount by the account types so I have something like this okay and I'm going to put in my dates in columns so I put in my dates in the column and I have this initial layout now you observe that the date is very granular so it's going all the way to the right so what we are going to do is select one of the dates right click and then we we'll group okay so we we'll group this into months and then we have something like this so this is grouped into months now the next thing we're going to do is we have all the revenue and expenses mixed up here so we are going to separate that using the category column so we take the category column and then push it on top of account in rows so when we have this we have the expenses on top and then we have the revenue below now to change that arrangement, you can right click the expense and then we sort Z to A so that the revenue will come up here. So our report is taking shape. So now what we're going to do is to convert this, okay, to cube functions and that's the trick. So you know the challenge with working with pivot tables is that you cannot insert rules or you cannot change the layout but if you put the data in a data model and create a pivot table out of that you are able to convert the pivot table into cube functions so now we stand here and then go into pivot table analyze under the pivot table analyze you see all up tools okay so we click the OLAP tools and then we convert to formulas. So now this is going to convert your pivot table to cube functions. And you observe that some of the numbers will be cube values and others will be cube members. So the cube members are essentially the headers that help you calculate the cube values. Apart from these two, any other entry that you don't need, you can delete. So this is an example of a cube member um, category we don't need that so we can delete that we can delete these two 
okay we can delete account and at this point we can actually redesign the report while it still maintains connection to our source data so our revenue total control x i'll bring that here i also go and bring our expense total here okay if you like you can take off the grand total shift space bar highlight the row control minus okay so we are essentially going to format this as we please i'm going to highlight the 12 months up to december and then alt h o w to reduce the column width so i'm going to reduce it to eight so my report looks a bit more compact i'll control space bar control minus to delete this grand total and i'm going to put in a row so i clearly know my revenue total alt i r f4 to repeat this action so this is my revenue total i'll highlight bold in it and to make it easier i'm going to just take all these numbers okay and for the format them appropriately so control one and then i have accounting here to zero decimal points and then i have something like that so the idea is that after you do this you can format it anyhow you want and that's what i'm doing my expense total is also here i'll highlight this control b alt hbp to put in that and then I'll highlight my months, Alt H A C to middle align, Alt H H to use this color, Alt H F C to put a white font in here, and I'm going to take off the grid lines. So Alt W V G to take off my grid lines. So I have fairly a very good looking cash flow report, my revenues here, and then my expenses down here now this is what i wanted to show you that after creating this report if your source data updates okay and you refresh the new data is captured in here so let's pay attention to let's say the last entry for traveling and accommodation which is 200 um, for this purpose let's create a net here so let's create a net here going to highlight this equal to revenue minus my expense total control enter and I have this so you realize that in December we have barely 6700 as surplus cash surplus so what we are going to do is we go to the data and let's enter a dummy expense control D to copy the date down and let's say i incur travel expense of about seven thousand and i'm pushing this under traveling and accommodation and it's an expense so this has come in and then i go here so watch this space i'm going to refresh this data with Control alt f5 okay so it updates and you realize that my seven thousand comes in here and i now have a deficit here so the advantage with cube functions it, it maintains features of a pivot table some features and it allows you to also lay out your report the way you want it in certain rules and all that it's quite useful especially for presenting financial reports like this again please watch the video and practice and add it to your excel tricks for more of these short videos you can send ad to this whatsapp number we we'll add it to our broadcast list we send videos on mondays and fridays directly to your phone you can visit our youtube channel find us close up all our old videos are here or connect with us on any of these social media handles thank you so much for watching